Okay, folks, going to do a different kind of a simulated human torso test. Uh, this time I've embedded ribs into the gel, and I've also, I couldn't find, I was wanting to get pig hearts uh, to stick in place for the hearts, uh, but I could not find pig hearts anywhere. So what I did is I got uh, uh, some real tough uh, skirt steak, uh, since that's a real tough uh, muscle tissue, rolled it up in, into several layers in the, si in the shape of a heart. Uh, so what I've got is uh, now this this che this chest cavity has two hearts because I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire two bullets, but we've got a little 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 bit of gel between uh, uh, the front of the gel block and the first rib, uh, just a little little bit of a gap, but the hearts are pretty much right up against this uh, this rib, uh, and then I've got the heart, and then the gel tissue is gonna simulate the rest of the, the 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 lung tissue and all that kind of good stuff, and then I've got a back set of ribs. Uh, the gel block broke. Uh, getting it out of the mold because this back rib was taking up too much room in there But that shouldn't affect the test much because I'm, I'm leaving this back portion of the block in there. So So we got that uh, You can see the, the the rib from the front And you can see my other heart from this side the tissue there the back set of ribs uh, So uh, it's 10 inches I don't know if you can see this. It's 10 inches from the very front of the gel block to the back of the uh, the back rib. So if it made it all the way through the very back of the back rib, then that'd be 10 inches penetration. The average human chest is nine and a half inches, so that would be that would be a large human chest there if it made it through all the way through the back set of ribs. So, in any event, uh, let's let's see what the ballistics look like. It's gonna be interesting to see. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm only firing two bullets. Uh, uh, my two most carried bullets, uh, the two, two bullets I carry most often. The first one's going to be a Lehigh Defense maximum expanding bullet uh, in 9mm fired out of my SR9C. Okay, second bullet is going to be the Lehigh Defense Maximum Expanding Bullet in the 45 Colt Judge slash Governor round, and it's being fired out of my Smith & Western Governor. This is a badass round, by the way. Let's analyze this now. Uh, over here, you can see the 45 Colt Judge slash Governor. It's a dead straight through the heart. You can see all the the muscle tissue that's drug in here, and it stops shy of hitting the back ribs, which I expect that bullet to do. Uh, nine millimeter went in over here. Hit a little bit on the right hand side of the heart on that one, but it looks like it went into the back ribs. So here in a, little, here in a minute we will uh, we will dissect uh, the ribs and see where that nine millimeter bullet went. But uh, got a good shot through the ribs. Definitely went through the majority of the heart tissue. Look at it from that. this side. I got out of focus. I mean, I hit the zoom button by mistake. In any event. Uh, you can see it went through the ribs, uh, pretty much dead center of the heart. Went on through all the way back into the back ribs somewhere. It did not exit the back ribs, it does not look like. That's the typical performance of the 9mm maximum expanding bullet. They will usually embed in the back rib somewhere, but they will not penetrate all the way through. Uh, and keep in mind, it's, it's 10 inches all the way to the, to the back of the rib. Uh, so... That's went nine some inches and embedded into the rib meat. Now let's go over to the uh, 
big bullet side. Uh, I don't know if you can I don't know if you can see that in the video or not, but that whole heart on the right side's bulging out, man. Uh, as you can see we went through the through the rib tissue through the ribs directly middle of the heart and that big bullet tore a big old hole in that heart um, and in a, in a few minutes I'm going and it stopped shy of the back ribs by uh, fingers width here so it did not quite go to the back ribs and here again that's what I expect from that 45 Colt Judge Dud Governor but look at the damage it did through the heart tissue region you can just tell from this how much damage that did so in any event, uh, let me uh, let me dissect that and see what it looks like. Okay, first thing I did was simply take this back rib out off to see where that nine millimeter bullet went, and that's exactly where it's laying. I haven't touched the thing, uh, so let me see if I can dig it out of there one handy. Yep. So there we go. Embed it broke the back rib bone and embedded into the bone. Um, here again, I find that to be very consistent in these uh, nine millimeter Lehigh maximum expanding bullets. They always expand reliably, uh, uh, and if I make a simulated human torso, they always embed into the back back rib somewhere. Uh, may, they never go through the back rib, or I've had one go through the back rib on one of my tests, but uh, usually they embed into the back rib. So that one was embedded into the back rib. I uh, can't really see much from the back side of this block, so uh, let me dissect some more. Okay, next step is I slice the front rib uh, gelatin block off. This would be where the uh, nine millimeter went through. It broke the bone, uh, made a humongous gash in that front rib meat. You can see the bone broken there. Uh, it actually did more damage in the front rib because it expands quicker than the, than the, the governor uh, 45 Colt uh, Judge Governor bullet. You can see this, this uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, it completely broke the rib bone in half there, but it wasn't fully expanded yet, so it didn't make as big of a front rib damage as the 9mm did. So 9mm did an awesome job there. So, uh, and I've, I've dug out uh, the uh, 45 Colt bullet. As you can see, it fully expanded just like it's supposed to. It's a humongous son of a bitch. Almost as wide as three fingers there in my hand. Okay, now next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice each one of these gel blocks straight through the heart tissue right where the bullet track went. And we're going to see what the damage in the, in the heart meat or the simulated heart meat looks like. Okay, so. this is the damage uh, that uh, from, from the Lehigh Defense Ammo. Uh, this would have been from the front side. Doesn't look like skirt, skirt steak rolled up tight anymore. Uh, it basically just, uh, as you can see, it just it just made, I don't know what the hell you call that. Anyhow, it mashed that heart meat up, which which was a rolled up piece of meat. Uh, you can see here it cut, it, it's still cutting through the gel. A pretty wide path there. See how far down in there my finger goes? So that's after it went through the heart, it's still cutting through lung tissue or whatever would be back here. Uh, so I'd say that heart would not have been beating anymore. Uh, the other half of the heart uh, is a little bit more intact. You can, uh, you can tell it kind of damaged it. Uh, this is the cellophane I had the, the, the simulated heart wrapped up in so the blood wouldn't seep into the gel when it was still, still liquid form. Uh, so the bullet kind of drugged that back in there. Uh, I didn't cut exactly in the middle of this bullet track because this one, this one, this this uh, cut path doesn't go down as far. But uh, this was pulled back into there a little bit, um, just minced this part of it a little bit. Now you can see that's what all the hearts should have looked like. Is that kind of a because it was just it was just standard uh, skirt, skirt steak rolled up tight into a heart shape. Uh, so it's. The, the, the meat should look like that on both sides, but as you can see, it uh, kind of devastated that heart tissue right through there too. But this is this is where the majority of the path went through, and as you can see, it it just uh, tore the hell out of the heart in the middle middle of that uh, uh, zone where that uh, 45 Colt maximum expanding bullet went through. Okay, uh, cut the the heart simulated heart in half that the nine millimeter went through. Uh, 
come in from from this side you can see it's minced up a little bit in there and then it went on through here continuing to cut a track whoops oops, sorry about that continue to cut a track all, and remember this one went all the way through the gel tissue all the way and embedded in the back rib uh, as you can see the middle track here where the bullet went through is is minced up a little bit but this outer outer edges on this are all pretty much intact didn't do near as much a wide a damage within the heart meat itself as what the um, as what the 45 Colt did but you know that's how big the 45 Colt is and that's how big the 9 millimeter is so obviously this little bullet's not going to do as much damage through the heart tissue as 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 the as the 45 Colt judge governor but as you can see it does it does it does produce some trauma about the width of the bullet through the heart tissue as it goes through it and then of course the 9 millimeter continues all the way in and, and embeds in the back ribs uh, so in any event uh, I thought that was a pretty interesting little test uh, just just double confirms that the times that I can I can actually carry this and it's not too bulky uh, this, this 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 is a bad boy I'll normally carry but this has it this will do the job too uh, it'll, it'll if you hit the vital areas it'll tear them up and it'll penetrate all the way into the back ribs of somebody if you're shooting at them so uh, either round's gonna be good but uh, anyhow interesting test uh, I'm glad I did it